Welcome to Just Stories, we hope you enjoy the story. The Great War, The Devastating Global Conflict of 1914-1918, by Just Stories. Chapter 1, The Spark That Ignited the War. In the summer of 1914, the world was teetering on the brink of war. Tensions had been simmering for years between the major powers of Europe, as nations jostled for position and alliances shifted in an increasingly unstable geopolitical landscape. Then, in late June, a single event pushed things over the edge, the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the throne of Austria-Hungary, in the city of Sarajevo. The assassination was carried out by a young Bosnian Serb named Gavrilo Princip, who was part of a group of nationalists seeking to create a greater Serbia by destabilizing Austria-Hungary. While the assassination itself was a relatively minor event, its consequences would prove to be catastrophic. At the time of the assassination, Austria-Hungary was already embroiled in a complex web of alliances and rivalries with other European powers. Germany was its closest ally, and both nations saw Serbia as a threat to their influence in the Balkans. When Austria-Hungary demanded that Serbia allow it to conduct an investigation into the assassination, Serbia refused, leading Austria-Hungary to declare war. This set off a chain reaction of events, as other nations were drawn into the conflict through a series of mutual defense pacts and long-standing rivalries. Germany, eager to assert its dominance in Europe, declared war on Russia, which in turn led France and Britain to enter the conflict. The war quickly escalated, as armies mobilized and began to clash on a scale never before seen. For many, the outbreak of war was greeted with a sense of excitement and national pride, as young men rushed to join the fight and demonstrate their loyalty to their country. But as the weeks turned into months, the reality of war set in, and the true horror of the conflict began to reveal itself. Looking back, it's easy to see the assassination of Franz Ferdinand as the spark that ignited the war. But the truth is that the conflict was fueled by a complex web of factors, from long-standing geopolitical tensions to shifting alliances and rivalries. And while the assassination may have been the event that pushed things over the edge, it's clear that the underlying causes of the war ran much deeper. As the conflict raged on, millions of lives were lost, and the world was forever changed. But the lessons of the Great War still resonate today, reminding us of the danger of nationalism, the importance of diplomacy and cooperation, and the devastating consequences of conflict. Chapter 2, Stalemate on the Western Front as the Great War began to unfold, it quickly became clear that the initial enthusiasm and optimism of the early days would give way to a long and brutal conflict. Nowhere was this more evident than on the Western Front, where opposing armies faced each other across a vast network of trenches and fortifications, and a war of attrition that would last for years. The Western Front stretched over 700 kilometers from the North Sea to the Swiss border and was characterized by a series of static defensive positions, with trenches dug deep into the ground and fortified with barbed wire, machine guns, and artillery. These trenches were often only a few hundred meters apart and were the scene of some of the most brutal and deadly battles of the war. The war on the Western Front was marked by a series of failed offensives and bloody assaults, as each side sought to break through the enemy's defenses and gain an advantage. These assaults were often preceded by heavy artillery bombardments, which were designed to weaken the enemy's defenses and create a path for advancing troops. But the defenders were usually able to weather these attacks, and the attackers often found themselves caught in a hail of gunfire and unable to make any significant gains. As a result, the war on the Western Front quickly settled into a stalemate, with both sides dug in and unable to make any significant progress. The front lines shifted only slightly over the course of the war, as each side attempted to gain small advantages through local offensives and counterattacks. The conditions on the Western Front were brutal and unforgiving. Soldiers lived in squalid, rat-infested trenches, enduring constant shelling and sniper fire, and facing the constant threat of disease, infection, and injury. Trench warfare required soldiers to spend long periods of time in the same spot, often with little or no movement, leading to a range of physical and mental health problems. The war on the Western Front was also marked by a range of technological innovations and adaptations. New weapons, such as poison gas and tanks, were developed and deployed, 
while soldiers learn to adapt to the harsh conditions of trench warfare, developing new tactics and strategies to help them survive. Despite these adaptations, the war on the Western Front remained a brutal and deadly affair, with little hope of a quick resolution. The stalemate would continue for years, until finally, in 1918, a series of offensives by Allied forces finally broke the German lines and brought an end to the war. The legacy of the stalemate on the Western Front would be felt for decades to come, as the horrors of trench warfare and the senseless loss of life would help to shape the world's understanding of war and conflict. But for the soldiers who endured it, the war on the Western Front was a grueling and unforgettable experience, one that would stay with them for the rest of their lives. Chapter 3, War on Many Fronts While the war on the Western Front may be the most famous aspect of the Great War, it was just one of many theaters of conflict that spanned the globe. From the Balkans to the Middle East, from Africa to Asia, the war was fought on multiple fronts, each with its own unique challenges and strategic considerations. In the early months of the war, the focus was on Europe, as the major powers mobilized their armies and prepared for battle. But as the war progressed, the conflict spread to other parts of the world, as each side sought to gain an advantage through territorial conquest and strategic alliances. One of the most important theaters of war outside of Europe was the Middle East. Here, the Ottoman Empire, which had allied with Germany and Austria-Hungary, was facing off against British and Allied forces in a struggle for control of key territories and trade routes. The war in the Middle East was characterized by a series of brutal battles, from the Gallipoli Campaign in 1915 to the capture of Jerusalem by British forces in 1917. In Africa, the war was fought primarily between British and German colonial forces, with both sides seeking to gain control of strategic resources and trade routes. Battles were fought across the continent, from East Africa to Southwest Africa, and the war had a profound impact on the people and societies of Africa. In Asia, the war was primarily fought between Japan and Germany, with Japanese forces seeking to gain control of German colonies in the Pacific and Asia. The war in Asia was marked by a series of naval battles and amphibious assaults, and it helped to establish Japan as a major world power. The war in the Balkans was also an important theater of conflict, as various smaller nations sought to gain independence from the larger empires of Europe. Serbia, for example, was fighting against Austria-Hungary in an attempt to establish a greater Serbia, while Bulgaria and Romania were also drawn into the conflict. The war on many fronts was marked by a range of different tactics and strategies, as each side sought to adapt to the unique challenges of each theater of conflict. It was also marked by a range of different cultural and social factors, as soldiers from around the world found themselves fighting side by side in strange and unfamiliar environments. Despite the diversity of the war on many fronts, however, the underlying goals and motivations remained the same, to gain strategic advantages, control key territories, and exert influence on the world stage. And while the war on the Western Front may have been the most famous aspect of the Great War, the conflict on many fronts helped to shape the world's understanding of war and conflict, and would have a lasting impact on the world's geopolitical landscape. Chapter 4, The Home Front while soldiers fought and died on the battlefields of Europe and beyond, the war also had a profound impact on the civilian populations of the major powers involved. The mobilization of millions of men and resources for the war effort had a profound effect on everyday life, from the shifting roles of women in society to the development of new forms of propaganda and censorship. Perhaps the most immediate impact of the war on the home front was the massive mobilization of men for military service. In countries like Britain, France, and Germany, young men were drafted or volunteered by the millions, leaving behind jobs and families to fight in a war that many believed would be over quickly. This had a profound effect on the economy and society as a whole, as businesses struggled to find workers and women were forced to take on new roles in the workplace. The war also had a significant impact on the role of women in society. With so many men away at war, women were forced to take on jobs and responsibilities that had previously been off-limits to them. They worked in factories, drove trams and buses, and even served as nurses on the front lines. This helped to shift perceptions of women's capabilities and opened up new opportunities for them in the years to come. 
the war also had a significant impact on everyday life. Rationing and shortages were common, as resources were diverted to the war effort. People were encouraged to conserve resources and to buy war bonds to support the war effort. New forms of propaganda were developed, using posters, newspapers, and other media to rally support for the war and demonize the enemy. Censorship was also a significant issue during the war. Governments in both Europe and the United States were keen to control the flow of information and to prevent news that could be damaging to the war effort from being published. This led to the development of censorship boards, which would review news stories and other media before they were published. The impact of the war on the home front was felt deeply by civilians on both sides of the conflict. It helped to shape perceptions of gender roles and societal norms, and it had a profound effect on the economy and everyday life. The war also helped to establish new forms of propaganda and censorship, which would have a lasting impact on the way governments and societies communicate during times of conflict. Looking back on the war from a modern perspective, it's clear that the impact of the war on the home front was just as significant as the impact of the war on the battlefields of Europe and beyond. It serves as a reminder of the profound and far-reaching effects of war and of the need to strive for peace and understanding in the face of conflict. Chapter 5, The Legacy of the Great War The impact of the Great War was felt around the world and continues to shape our understanding of conflict and its consequences today. From the geopolitical fallout to the social and cultural changes that emerged in its wake, the legacy of the Great War is a complex and multifaceted subject. One of the most significant legacies of the Great War was the Treaty of Versailles, which was signed in 1919 and brought an end to the conflict. The treaty imposed harsh penalties on Germany, forcing the nation to pay reparations, relinquish territory, and accept responsibility for the war. The treaty helped to reshape the post-war geopolitical order, but it also sowed the seeds of resentment and bitterness that would help to pave the way for the rise of fascism and the outbreak of World War II. The Great War also had a significant impact on social and cultural norms. The war shattered the notion of the noble or romantic idea of war, as the brutal reality of trench warfare and the senseless loss of life became all too apparent. This helped to usher in a new era of disillusionment and skepticism about the nature of war and its consequences. The war also had a profound effect on the role of women in society. The mobilization of millions of men for military service created new opportunities for women in the workplace, and the war helped to shift perceptions of women's capabilities and their role in society. This helped to lay the groundwork for the feminist movement that emerged in the years following the war. The legacy of the war was also felt in the arts and literature. Many of the greatest works of literature and art of the early 20th century were inspired by the war or emerged in its aftermath. From the poetry of Wilfred Owen and Siegfried Sassoon to the paintings of Paul Nash and John Singer Sargent, the war had a profound influence on the cultural landscape of the time. Perhaps most importantly, the legacy of the Great War serves as a reminder of the devastating and far-reaching consequences of conflict. The senseless loss of life, the trauma endured by soldiers and civilians alike, and the geopolitical fallout of the conflict all highlight the need for peace and understanding in the face of conflict. Looking back on the legacy of the Great War from a modern perspective, it's clear that its impact was profound and far-reaching. Its effects continue to be felt around the world, reminding us of the importance of diplomacy, cooperation, and understanding in the face of conflict. Thank you for watching our story. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. So you don't miss out on our next video.